I've got a few different things to talk about today, but first let's talk about BMW's latest fire safety hazard. Um, they've got a new recall out right now. Big shout out to my friend Austin for letting me know about this a couple weeks ago. I actually just got my letter in the mail yesterday, which reminded me that I need to take care of this and I thought I'd do a video on it. So the latest recall has to do with the PCV heater valve. It says in the letter that in some cases, these parts might not have been made to the right specification. Over time, they can deteriorate and melt. And in some cases that could actually lead to a fire. So you definitely want to take care of this uh, sooner than later. In the recall letter, it says that if you see smoke from the area near the engine compartment, or if you smell smoke or burning plastic, uh, your vehicle may be experiencing the issue. It says if this happens, um, pull over carefully to a safe location and shut off the engine and that all occupants should exit the vehicle um, obviously. So the solution or the remedy for this is that BMW will inspect the part and replace it. Um, it says in the letter that that will take about three hours and they will have alternate transportation available to you in case you need to get around for the day. Now obviously this doesn't cost anything because it's a safety recall. Um, a few people have asked like how much do these recalls cost or maybe you've put off uh, getting your car taken care of because you don't know how much it'll cost but yeah anytime you get a safety notice like this um, it doesn't cost you anything so just uh, be aware of that. So this recall affects the BMW 3 Series, 5 Series, and Z4s from the 2006 model year. So uh, if you haven't got a letter in the mail yet, um, just check online. You can always check their recall website at any time. I will link that website down below. Uh, you just put in your VIN number and you can look it up from there. And uh, obviously this car being a 2006 is a part of the recall. So uh, I called the dealership, I scheduled to make an appointment and they said that they will get back with me as soon as they have an opening. So at this point, I'm just waiting to hear back for the dealership and uh, hopefully get this taken care of sooner than later. So next let's talk about Keys Auto Show. It is on July 7th in New Jersey. So it's less than a month away at this point. Uh, they have the registration page up right now. It's $15 if you wanna get your car in the show, uh, free for spectators and it's gonna be $20 if you wanna pay at the event. So definitely save a little bit if you pay online in advance. Uh, that $15 admission goes to charity and uh, you're gonna get a free t-shirt designed by me as well as some raffle tickets. They give out some prizes and stuff at the show so definitely a cool thing to be a part of. All right and then one last thing. So Katie and I are actually moving. We're still gonna be local here in Southeast Michigan, but we're moving out of this apartment and moving into our own house. Uh, we actually just renewed our lease a couple weeks ago. We did it for six months instead of a year. So the plan is to uh, be out of here by December of this year and moving into a house. So uh, yeah, the apartment's been great, but it's, it was never really our intention to stay here long-term. Uh, we've actually been here a little bit longer than we were originally planning, but uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're in the final stretch here, I guess, to move out. Um, it was just a matter of paying off some debt and uh, just saving some money so and guys this is gonna be so huge for the channel because you guys know um, I film all my videos at my parents house so I have to lug all my camera equipment and stuff over there there's usually about an hour of setup and tear down for me to be able to make videos there so uh, once I have my own garage where I can just you know leave everything permanently set up and it's just like a matter of uh, flipping on a couple light switches and we'll be good to go so really looking forward to that it's also going to open up a lot of um, opportunities for bigger projects that I haven't been able to do previously. Uh, Katie and I have talked about maybe a project car, something like an older BMW or something to work on. I think that that would be fun, but again, uh, we can't really do that here at the apartment and I don't want to be like an inconvenience to my parents by having it at their house or anything like that. So I'm uh, really looking forward to that. Our goal again is December of this year, having our own place. But um, I haven't showed you guys the apartment, I don't think since we moved in. So I, I guess I'll give you a little tour in case anyone's curious about what it looks like. All right, so this is our living room. It's not very big, this apartment is only 900 square feet, so uh, not a whole lot of room to move around, but we do have the vaulted ceilings, uh, which makes it feel a little bit bigger than it actually is. In the corner over here, this is where I do all of my video editing, so all of the uh, videos that you guys see on the channel are edited right here. Um, as you can see, I started this one already. Uh, you guys already watched this part of the video, but yeah, um, I've got my silver play button from YouTube. Then coming over this way, this is our dining area. And then our kitchen where uh, Katie prepares us delicious meals every night. She's a really good cook and I definitely appreciate that. Then coming down here, we've got the bathroom. Really not much to it, but uh, one nice thing is that these uh, units are very new, so um, everything is still nice and clean. Then coming over here, we've got the laundry room. Now the reason that we chose these apartments is because they're like one of the only ones in the area that uh, have the washer and dryer in the unit. 
so that's why we picked these we didn't want to use like the community one but oh uh, yeah that's the uh kind of got some storage and stuff over here and then lastly is the bedroom <laughs> like i said there's really not a whole lot to this place but uh yeah that's uh, where we sleep just kind of like a minimalist theme i guess and yeah that's pretty much all there is to it one last thing really quick is the balcony this is like one of my favorite things about being here you have this nice view of this uh little man-made pond i guess you see people fishing out here sometimes uh, the only kind of weird thing about it is as you can see there's like no barrier between you and your neighbors so uh, sometimes you'll come out here people will be like smoking a blunt or something i don't know people do weird stuff out here but uh, it is a nice view and the sun sets right in that corner over there so um that is something that we will miss when we get a house but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you found the bmw recall information helpful uh give me a thumbs up and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video i'm doing something for my dad for father's Day. we're gonna do like a father's day special washing his car so i'll look forward to that and i'll see you guys in the next one